Marines reinforce NATO around the world, and we meet the drum major for President Trump's inauguration. All this and more this week on The Core Report. Lance Corporal Austin Ruiz died in a training incident in 29 Palms, California, Monday, January 16th. Marines were conducting small arms live fire training in preparation for Integrated Exercise 2 TAC 17. The training is conducted by infantry units and some support units before a deployment. The Marine Corps is investigating the incident. U.S. Central Command and U.S. Forces Afghanistan requested 300 Marines to deploy to Helmand Province, Afghanistan to reinforce the NATO-led mission Resolute Support. The Special Purpose Task Force is deploying from the 2nd Marine Expeditionary Force located in North Carolina in spring of 2017. Their mission will be to advise and train key leaders in the Afghan National Army and police. Resolute Support's been an ongoing NATO mission since January 2015. The F-35B Lightning II Joint Strike Fighter has a new home. Two F-35 Bravos arrived at Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni, Japan, Wednesday, January 18th. Iwakuni is the first overseas installation to add the aircraft to its worldwide deployment capability. The base will eventually be home to 16 F-35 Bravo jets. The combination of stealth, radar, and sensor technology make it the most lethal fighter in the skies today. Nearly 300 Marines from Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, deployed to Norway Monday, January 16th. The Marines are serving in a new role as Marine Rotational Force Europe. The Marines will train in cold weather and mountainous environments. The Rotational Force will deploy Marines every six months to enhance NATO partnerships and strengthen naval integration. The training is conducted by infantry units and some support units before deployment. Forty-year-old Master Sergeant Dwayne King led the Marine Corps Band for the Presidential Inauguration Parade. Master Sergeant King said the performance is the biggest he's led as drum major. It's a huge honor for me. It's um, easily the biggest event I've ever performed in. I've done a lot of high-profile events, but none with this, this much historical significance. This, uh, to, the fact that we get to be a part, a small part of the, this most American of processes of the, the peaceful transfer of power within our inauguration, it is huge. That's all for this week on The Core Report.